Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by for another world update. This one is for March 16th through the 26th, 2016. So we've got quite a few articles today in Cabal News and Disclosure News, and we also have articles in Gaia News, Space News, Mystery News, UFO News, and Trusted Sources News. So let's have a look down the rabbit hole and see what we can find. Okay, so we start off today in Cabal News, where we have a couple of articles here talking about the shady money magic system that we all live in today. Okay, so the first one's here. Global government debt is actually tripled what we thought it was thanks to pensions. Now, whatever the reason, most likely the reason is because of the fact that they just print money at interest to keep us as debt slaves. But it says here... This is a March 17th article, and the government is uh, the government debt in 20 industrialized countries stands at 44 trillion, but they're saying it's closer to 122 trillion dollars that the global debt is in the governments are indebted to each other. How are they done? How have they done that? Obviously, they've printed money way too much. The inflation is the inflation is going to go up soon and stuff too, but it's just a corrupt system, and they use our energy to move money around. And that's how they keep their money. And the banks don't do anything. They just print money at interest. And they send out loans. And they get money back for that too as well. So that is a shady spot right there. But we all know that this is not a, a very uh, truthful system that we're living in right now. So the other one over here on RT News, which is March 16th, is a $5 trillion a day Forex rigging probe is dropped despite evidence of criminality. They go on to say that... British prosecutors have dropped a criminal probe into the rigging of the $5 trillion a day foreign exchange market despite having uncovered what it says are reasonable grounds to suspect offenses involving serious and complex fraud. I mean, need, need I say any more, right? This is obvious that we have a serious problem in the world today, and people like all the top banks in the world are running us into the ground and keeping us as debt slaves. We also have some articles here on the current status of the elections going on in America right now. Right here we have an article from Washington Post talking about how ghost corporations are funding the 2016 election. So if we go into that and we have a look, it is talking about how one in every eight dollars that's spent in the super PACs of this cycle coming from corporate coffers including millions flowing from opaque and hard to trace entities so this is a just another example of how they're rigging the system to do what they want with the nomination we also have Soros getting his dirty hands involved with this and he's talking about promising more and more anti-Trump protests so he's basically funding protests right now for protesters to go out and make a big deal about Trump's rallies so it's just trying to get people against each other and promote more negative vibes between everybody and divide us. We also have him getting his uh, one of his cronies that he works with over here. So one of the board member chairs is running an online voting machine, which they're saying is one of the biggest online votes conducted in U.S. history. And... If you don't think that they're trying to rig it through that as well and control how that's going on, then you got another thing coming. Because obviously we've seen in the last few updates that I've done that they have people wondering whether or not these caucuses are getting rigged right now because they obviously don't want Bernie Sanders winning and the other faction doesn't want Trump winning. But from what Cobra says, Trump and Hillary are both on different factions in the cabal, so we can't trust Trump either. And we also have another one here just uh, relaying it as well, saying anti-Trump protesters taunt Jews at the APAC and Nazi, Nazi imagery. This is more paid protesters that are coming out and putting things like this up just to stir the pot more and get us all riled up. And it's working in the States, but if you have an open mind, you can see past this and know that this is all pointing to the fact that they are going to be removed from power very soon. We also have a second GOP delegate saying that primary votes just don't matter and that the delegates are all that counts when picking a president. So that's more of the same. We've got Hillary Clinton over here from the New York Post talking about will Hillary get charged or what. We got the FBI chief James Comey and his investigators are increasingly certain that presidential nominee Hillary Clinton violated laws in handling classified government information through her private email server 
And this is more of an example of how she's so shady. I can't believe she's in, even in the race and people are thinking about voting for her considering all of the corruption cases that have been against her and the shady things she's done in the past. But hopefully this leads to her being removed. And from what Ben Fulford says, it may be a Joe Biden versus Trump card at the end. And who knows which one of them they'll pick. But obviously it'll be one of the... Uh, henchmen for the cabal if those two win and we also have a corruption scandal in Brazil where there's millions of people protesting due to the corruption that the current government's going through so we have more than a million Brazilians haven't joined an anti-government rally across the country ramping up the pressure on embattled President Dilma Rousseff already struggling with an impeachment challenge the worst recession in a century and the biggest corruption scandal in Brazil's history, the Workers' Party leader, was given another reason to doubt she will complete her fourth term. We also have an article here that she is defiant amid calls for her resignation over the corruption scandal. So these guys are a part of the cabal and they're trying to take over and control Brazil, which is a part of the BRICS nations, which Copra has mentioned before. And most of their plans are going down the tube right now because the people are waking up and demanding change. And I just thought I'd put this in because it's funny and strange, the fact that Obama goes to embrace the Cuba's leader and he grabs his arm and lifts it up and Obama's limp hand is flopping all over the place. Who knows what this means? Did he do it on purpose? Is he just a clone that is messing up with his motor functions? I'm not really sure, but I thought that was funny, so we just wanted to toss that in there. And now to disclosure news, we've got an article here starting at Universe Today where they're talking about how the Dwarf Planet series is actually having the lights that are on it blinking detectably increase and decrease in brightness, if ever so slightly. So this is another sign that there's something else going on on series and we think that it's a base for some positive ETs there, as you can see right here. And we're also having NASA saying that alien life could exist in our solar system. And let's have a listen here. Ten days after leaving Earth, the astronauts return, carrying with them the equipment recovered from Surveyor 3. When scientists examine the camera, they find something disturbing. Investigators took a look at this camera and sampled it for microbial growth. And surprisingly, got growth from one of 33 locations that they sampled. They find something alive on a camera that's been on the surface of the moon for more than two years. And they go on to say by quoting Dr. Kevin Hand, an astrobiologist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, he said Jupiter's moon could hold the answers we've all been waiting for. Speaking at an event at Royal, the Royal Institution, the scientists outlined how our understanding of Earth's oceans translated to the other potentially habitable worlds like Europa. So this article goes into detail, more detail about how they're wondering if there's any kind of underwater life. And now we have Hillary here discussing with Jimmy Kimmel what she's going to do if she gets into office. That's right. When we had your husband, President Clinton, on the show, he said, I asked him about UFOs in Area 51, and, and if, you, if you looked in, because if I was president, if that's the first thing I do, I go right in a... You don't say, Jimmy. ...here with us, so if I was president, and I won't be, let's be honest, <laughs> the first thing I would do after putting my hand on, on that Bible and taking that oath to serve the country is I would I wouldn't even probably finish the oath I would run to the White House I demand to see all the classified files on the UFOs because <laughs> I want to know I'd want to know what has been going on did you do that sort of sort of <laughs> it's something I feel like if I was the president and it's unlikely that that is ever going to happen you never know if I was the president it was unlikely that I was going to be president <laughs> The moment I was inaugurated, my hand would, would just, it'd still be hot from touching the Bible, and I would immediately race to um, wherever they hold, have the files uh, about Area 51 and the UFOs, yeah. and I'd go through everything to find out what happened. Right. Did you do that? That's why you will not be president. 
Because uh, that's, that's the first thing that you would do. Um. <laughs> Files to right. see what was going on. Right. And he said that he did do that. Yes. And that he didn't find anything. Well, I'm oh. going gonna, I'm gonna to do it again. Uh, yeah, why not? Right? And, and you know, there's a new name. It's Unexplained Aerial Phenomenon. Unexplained aerial phenomena, yep, really? Yep, UAP. That's the latest nomenclature. I like yeah, so she's now trying to take over the scenario. This is exactly what Cobra has been saying, that the cabal is going to try to take over the disclosure narrative and only give us some of it and not give us everything for another 50 years or so until they all die off and then we won't have to prosecute them afterwards. But what she's saying here is that they're giving it a new name, UAP, and that she may or may not tell people what's going on in there. We have other audio clips of her explaining what she wants to do as well. I'd like us to go into those files and hopefully make as much of that public as possible. If there's nothing there, let's tell people there's nothing there. What if, if there something. is something there? Well, if there is something there, unless it's a you know, threat to national security, I think we ought to um, share it with the public. Well, what if everybody's all hopped up on medical marijuana and everybody gets paranoid? <laughs> I would love well, it. That's why I want more research. <laughs> so, yeah, she's talking about medical marijuana and how she wants to do more research. They don't want to give it to the public because it's an actually a good plant. And she's talking about how she may or may not release the information, which obviously she would never do because she's a part of the cabal and they want to control us forever. But the good thing is their control is dwindling and there's signs everywhere, including this new movie called Vaxxed, and it's a documentary that's going to be at the Tribeca Film Festival and it just discusses the link between autism and vaccinations. This is a tough subject to talk about because people don't want to think about the fact that we may have put terrible, terrible things in our kids, but we need to realize that there's going to be many truths that are, have been withheld that are going to be given back to the people at some point and it's going to be hard to take. So we also have an article here about Robert De Niro discussing the controversy because he runs the film festival and he's saying that he is supporting the movie. Many called for responsive festival's decision. Robert De Niro, co-founder of the Tribeca Film Festival, defended the choice to include the film even though he doesn't endorse the content. So that's more stuff that's going on with vaccinations and truths, and it may blow the lid off the vaccination conspiracy that's going on on this planet right now, so time will tell. And quickly over to Gaia News, we have our few stories here. One is from CNN Money talking about how Morocco is producing a solar plant that actually creates electricity at night through steam production. This is a cool story because we have mentioned this before on one of the other updates and it seems to be coming along it's eventually going to be powering up to a million homes and it's said to be completed hopefully in 2017 so that's very close and it's pretty interesting stuff so I'd say have a look at that another one we're uh, looking at here is the fact that they're saying they may have an HIV treatment which could eradicate the virus within two weeks to me, I believe they created AIDS and they've created all the other different types of, you know, you name it, swine flu, SARS, Ebola, all these different ones. What's the newest one now? I don't know. I think it's Ebola, I guess, right now, or uh, no, Zyke, something. That's just chemtrail stuff that's probably getting poured on people, but that's an interesting article to look at because they're do they are talking about new cures, and that's, of course, what's going to be in the future is we're going to have cures to all disease. And we also have Australia talking about how it's going to be the first country to receive tidal energy, which is really cool stuff. And why aren't we using the oceans for energy anyways, right? Because the big oil doesn't want us to have that. But there's a cool video in here as well and descriptions on how it's uh, going to be working down there underwater. So I suggest you guys have a look at that. It's pretty cool stuff. And we also have an article here, well, it's a video from RT News, and it's discussing the possibilities that our energy bodies that are in our physical body, that we have energy that comes out of us, and that is our chakras, as they're showing here, and that's a good article because it's discussing how we could potentially see auras, and that the scientific research that's going in is testing out electrical fields around different types of entities, including humans, and it's saying 
that they have similar characteristics. So it's really interesting stuff, and I suggest you guys check out that vid. And in Space News, we have a few interesting articles here. The first here is talking about a supernova shockwave seen with visible light for the first time. An international team of astronomers witnessed the elusive shock breakout after sifting through three years of data collected by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. So that's interesting to watch. They have animations down here showing what the supernova shockwave might look like. We also have an article over here talking about what is a super flare. We're talking about researchers explaining the devastating consequences of an eruption from the sun. What would some would say is an X-class flare, which is similar to the Carrington event that happened in the 1800s. I think that the reason why we haven't been hit with any of these massive solar storms is because we have a benevolent space family that's helping us out and keeping us safe. We also have an article here talking about NASA, how it captured a huge pulse of energy coming out of a black hole. So essentially they are going to have to rewrite all the books that they have on black holes because it was always deemed that they would never have anything be able to come out of them, only into them. It sucks everything, including light, into them. So that's really interesting stuff here, which is turning the tables and opening minds. And we have one pretty interesting story in UFO news today, which is just talking about how Aaron Rodgers had an incredibly detailed story about the time he saw a UFO. This is pretty cool. He talks about how he saw a massive orange object flying through the clouds with several of his buddies. And we look over here and we have new uh, former NJ High School QB, I saw UFO with Packers, Aaron Rodgers. And he just goes on to say how he remembered the incident very, very, very vividly, and it was absolutely wild. So that's pretty cool coming from some other sources saying that they've seen, you know, lots of people have said they've seen UFOs. I've seen a few UFOs. There's been lots of people that are famous that have come out recently and said they've seen them as well. So it's something that is going to become more and more frequent as the positive future timeline unfolds. Now over to mystery news where we have a couple of articles. This one is about Microsoft and how it had to delete the teen girl artificial intelligence that became a Hitler loving sex robot within 24 hours. This stuff is just too wild almost to talk about but it just shows how messed up the internet is right now and how many negative things are on it because this AI supposedly picked up on whatever was going on with the internet talking about several things including uh, Hitler loving and Bush did 9-11 and that there's just a lot of weird sex stuff going on in there too so a day after Microsoft introduced the innocent artificial intelligence chat robot to Twitter it has been deleted after it transformed into an evil Hitler loving incestual sex promoting Bush did 9-11 proclaiming robot so that's where AI is going. Let's stay away from AI, right? And we also have independent article here talking about how they've potentially found some remains of Queen Nefertiti inside the, one of the secret chamber that's in the pyramids. So that's also a very interesting article to read up on if you're interested in that kind of stuff. And in Trusted Sources news, we have a few articles here. The first is a video from Ben Fulford that came out recently, mid-March. And this is a little description of what he's talking about here. So, what has happened is that the White Dragon Society, which is an alliance of benevolent Western secret societies, has offered to uh, continue to finance the international operations of the U.S. military and to promote an integration of the US military with the military of Russia, China, Japan, the whole world, okay, to create a global defense force. Uh, this is not a, a fascist thing, it's not going to rule the world. We're simply going to be at the service of the world's governments to help protect the planet. And the, the job description will change from stealing resources uh, uh, for corporations owned by oligarchs to protecting the weak, the poor, and nature. In other words, protecting the life force, protecting the planet, and uh, exploring the universe. These are the new job descriptions that we are planning for the U.S. military. 
So that's really interesting because that I think is where we're going to be heading in the near future here. Um, we have to focus on what is good for all and not what is just good. And that is the premise behind being a galactic society. So moving on, we, we have an article here about the 40-day season of sacrifice that Stillness in the Storm has put together, which is great because they basically predicted the newest false flag attack in Brussels, and they're saying that it's using a black magic rituals that the Illuminati will do, and that's what they do with all of these different false flag attacks to keep us in low vibration and scared and in fear all the time. It's not working as much lately, but at the same time, they're still pulling off some of these things, so we have to be questioning that, obviously. And we also end with Cobra's newest update situation update which is an amazing article and he is just putting more and more proof out there from western media sources talking about how well not just western but global news sources talking about different things like you can take a holiday in space soon you can do galactic holidays will cost seven thousand dollars by 2030 He's talking about lunar bases and how people are talking about doing villages on the moon. He's talking about Russia. We had this on our last update, actually. Russia's new space station, or space engine can get them to Mars in a month. And you have a bunch of other articles on here. It's totally worth the read. Check out the links below and have a listen to what he has to say because this is really interesting stuff that he has here. And it gives a great perspective on what's really happening in the world. So make sure you join in every Sunday for our event meditation. We're going to try to bring this thing closer and closer each time we do this on Sundays. And remember to hold the light and raise your consciousness. Okay, love and light everyone.